What's poppin', people? It's your boy, Jay. Um, so, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. This video has been a little difficult to make. I wanted to have it out last week, but I have it out today. Um, it's, it was only difficult to make because I feel some type of way about it. Now, anybody that knows me knows I'm, number one, a diehard, absolutely, like, fanboy when it comes to Ubisoft games and I don't think that has changed anytime soon it may have wavered a little bit but it definitely hasn't changed and number two I am 100% a fanboy for Assassin's Creed games I've played every single one all the way through multiple times I enjoy almost every single one but I got a problem with this new game Bad news, bad. Now, before we get into it, I don't want people thinking that I am just straight up bashing this game because I'm not. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm actually quite interested in this game. I'm I'm definitely intrigued by it. Am I intrigued and inside, excited to play it? No, absolutely not. And I'll tell you why. Um, during the, I would have to say the last four Assassin's Creed games. Let's, let's say, you know what, let's round it up and say five. We'll say... Uh, Unity, Syndicate, Black Flag, and Origins, and we'll just we'll just leave it at those four for now. Um, these games hold a very very different opinion, all their own, and I say that because it's just a roller coaster of all sorts of things going on. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree with me that a lot of the Assassin's Creeds that have come out have either been good, bad, or indifferent, and I say that only because it'll skip one and the other one will be good, and then after that it'll be bad, and then after that it'll be amazing, and then it'll be eh. Now, I haven't necessarily made a video where I describe every single Assassin's Creed, um, which I actually think, I, I think I'll actually do that. I'll probably make that video after this. I'll just make a video on each Assassin's Creed, um, almost like a review style thing, but it's more so like I'll compare it to the rest of the series, I guess. Now, uh, once again, anybody who knows me knows that I played Assassin's Creed Origins almost non-stop. I religiously played this game day after day after day after day, and I still have not gotten all the achievements just because it's almost like with this game, I am going through and looking at every single grain of sand, every single leaf, every single character, every single piece of dirt. I'm just enjoying this game Oh just so so much there is so much culturally to this game that i enjoy more than any other assassin's creed in the entire franchise actually almost better than any ubisoft game i've played up until this point except for Watch Dogs 2 because i'm in that um <laughs> so i would have to say that assassin's creed origins by far is my favorite assassin's creed game because it introduces um, a new form of combat, and a new RPG leveling system, Bayek is amazing, Siwa and just exploring all of Egypt is amazing, from the period, pyramids of Giza to Alexander to like, even the DLCs are amazing, like, there's just so much that is going on in Assassin's Creed Origins that I can't just talk about it in a single video. So now if you can't tell, I'm super hyped about Assassin's Creed Origins. It's amazing. It's my favorite game of the entire franchise. I believe it's the best. I wouldn't say it's the funnest though. That actually is led right behind, which is coincidentally made by the same team, um, head, head by Ashraf Ismail, who is my homeboy, shout out to him. Um, they worked on Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which I would say is not the best Assassin's Creed, but it is by far the funnest. And I will say that only because it'll take um, a lot of what Assassin's Creed was built up over the time from one, two, three, Brotherhoods, Revelations. It'll take all of those games and then kind of, you know, trickle a little bit here and there, not combine everything all of a sudden. But then it'll also take the naval combat, which I feel is the funnest part of Assassin's Creed 3, and put that as one of the main scopes of the game. Now, Black Flag, I know a lot of people feel some type of way about it. They feel really iffy, like, oh, it's not an Assassin's Creed game, pirates, blah, 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 blah. But let's all be clear. Assassin's Creed has not been an Assassin's 
Creed oriented type of game since Assassin's Creed 3. It just really hasn't. Like maybe Unity, maybe Syndicate, you can qualify those. Origins, you can absolutely qualify that as an Assassin's Creed game. And what I mean by that is Assassin's Creed was really this like kind of stopping corruption what is evil what is good what is evil type of de type of thing like you know delving into the back like orders of the world like some illuminati type shit like like who's really running the world like rich aristocrats are just like portrayed as these horrible horrible people and they're just doing the best they can to take advantage of those around them and belittle those around them and just basically just hit it rich by you know exploiting poor people which i think is a great like establishment on the original assassin's creed series i would even say trilogy like the first three games i mean assassin's creed one Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Outside of that, it got real weird all of a sudden as soon as you hit Assassin's Creed 3, which I would have to say is the biggest bump next to Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, and I don't mean like a good bump, like a bump up, like a speed bump, like yo, we had something going here. But really, the core of this video that I want to talk about is why I'm not excited for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And just for a few simple reasons, it just doesn't feel like Assassin's Creed. Like, when you're watching this, it's more about gladiators and combat and stuff, and it's not so much like you don't feel like an assassin anymore. You don't feel like you're sneaking around in the shadows, work in the dark to protect the light. That is literally the slogan of the Assassin's Order. Like, it's you just feel like you get none of this. Even though that was established in Assassin's Creed Origins, we work in the dark to save the light. Like, I, I don't understand how this got all mixed up in all the other Assassin's Creed games, but Odyssey is just this one thing that kind of sticks out like this weird sore thumb. Now, I will say one thing I am glad to see about Odyssey is that they're taking a more RPG esque approach and with this game they're adding you know additional stuff to the leveling system which was integra integrated in assassin's creed origins which i felt was one of the best parts the skill trees and the actual like stuff that you could apply in combat was by far one of the best since you know bre brotherhood and revelations you know revelations i say that because they had like the little trap bombs and stuff like that the smoke bombs were really good to use out of nowhere like there was a lot more tools and utility that you could use in assassin's creed revelations and brotherhood than you could in any other game aside from origins now odyssey also has this really weird place where it's like where does it lie on the timeline and it just doesn't seem like it fits into the assassin's order and i would only say that is the most confusing part because i don't think ubisoft knows where they're going with the assassin's creed franchise they're kind of just coming up with these ideas and then throwing them out and then adding a setting to the game so essentially what they're doing is taking the assassin's creed template is what i call it and they're just like let's take an assassin some something happens to him and his family uh what setting are we gonna put it in and then let's pick a time period in that setting okay so let's take this random french guy during the french revolution his parents are killed this happens he's adopted blah 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 blah. now he's an assassin it just doesn't make any sense to do things like that all right assassin's creed syndicate let's take these two twins that have nothing to do with anything uh put them in the industrial revolutions and they become assassins for no reason like it's just Obviously, there are, you know, overall, I'm not just blanket statement, not hitting a blanket statement with Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I'm saying that it's boring. The story was boring, okay? Like, it just didn't feel like an Assassin's Creed game. So, Odyssey just feels like more of the same. But I will say another thing, and I would, I have to say this is the biggest reason why I'm not getting Assassin's Creed Odyssey, is it's too soon. Now, when you see that Assassin's Creed had taken a huge break, I mean, two years off to really develop Origins and make it what it is, Origins was amazing. Like, it was a breath of fresh air. I, it was just great for the franchise. It revitalized everything. Now, this year, I thought they were going to skip Assassin's Creed and, you know what, let's do Splinter Cell, let's do a Watch Dogs 3, something, anything else but Assassin's Creed. And I say that because of franchise fatigue and just because you didn't let Origins breathe. 
You didn't let Origins live long enough. Like two official DLC packs, like, like hardcore DLC packs. I would have loved to see more of that game. That by far, when you take a long breath and you just take time to like develop the game, you expect, I expected the game to have some longevity to it. They were gonna have three or four, you know, different uh, story packs or that they were gonna put out a seasonal season pass. Like, like they were gonna have two different season passes, season pass one and season pass two. Like they were gonna have fall and they were gonna have winter or they were gonna have spring or they were gonna have summer. They were gonna have actual season passes, like multiple. That would have been great to have, but unfortunately there just wasn't enough Assassin's Creed Origins. And I just feel like Odyssey is just a little too soon off of the breaths of Origins. Origins didn't even get its time to like stretch its arms and legs and just really be the great Assassin's Creed game that it should have been. I would have loved to see a trilogy with Bayek. Just three game, three whole games with Bayek would have been great. Not saying that this Odyssey isn't just gonna be like a great game. I'm just saying it's a little too soon for that game. And I also feel like there's just a lot going on with Odyssey that I'm just not crazy about. Like they have this Mass Effect like relationship meter thing going on. That doesn't feel like Assassin's Creed. I mean, it's great for an RPG. It's great for The Witcher, which The Witcher is fucking amazing. It's obviously like without a doubt, one of the greatest games of all time next to The Last of Us. But like, holy shit, man. Let this game just be an Assassin's Creed game. And then they're using this marketing ploy of like homosexuality. Like you can love anybody in the game if you want to. You can love dudes if you're a dude. You can love girls if you're a girl, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't judge that. That's perfectly fine. I did it in Mass Effect. Garrus is my boo, by the way. But like, it's just one of those things. Why, are, why is this a selling point? Why is this a marketing ploy? Don't use some people's, like, the way they feel about other human beings as a way to sell video games. That's just how I feel about it. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'm obviously feeling some type of way, and I want to know what you guys think. Make sure to hit that like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and make sure to turn on notifications. I upload every single day now um, after, after this video. I promise. I swear. I swear. Anyway, this has been your boy, Jason. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>